I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You send the stranger who slowly fell from the rift to study Cleaver, this newcomer with no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. Ooh, ooh, burn. Yo, what's up, guys? It's the man, K Man here, and we're back at it again with part number four of the Pokemon Legends of Arceus playthrough. Welcome back. Have you guys been? We're on our way. Oh, those are Geodudes. Whew. You don't see me, you do not see me. Gotcha. You're not staying in that, are you? Oh, you did. Nice. I kind of need to fight you real quick. I don't know where you think you were going, Starly. Uh, quick attack it, Shinx. <laughs> nice. You can't move. Bottom one more time. If you're uh, if you're still confused why I haven't involved Shinx yet, I'm trying to co complete the stuff with the Pokedex. Uh, I've almost got it. I've got, I need four more quick attacks and uh, nine more bites. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come long to play tributes to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient bloods from All My Sinnoh. Okay, that, I don't know what the frick that sound was. That's not Cricketoon. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to stir the peace with its racket. Yeah, this sounds weird. That's what it's here, and that's why you're here, Cayman, to drive the interloper from this place. I assure Pokemon when you're ready for battle. The species they appear to be very difficult to catch. Bro, I got a heavy ball with your name on it. How did I get back in front of it? Let's go, cool lava. Action speed and battle. Press Y during the battle to check the action order of all the Pokemon currently battling. This shows the order in which all Pokemon will take their turn based on the action speed. Oh, cool lava. That was very big. Cool lava, cricket team, cool lava, cricket team. Uh, I think you can handle one hit. Agile style, so I'll be able to go quicker. Oh, and you're burned, baby. I'm afraid if I if I if I hit it again, it's gonna die. So let's see what this does. Your hat half health. Oh, you're popping out. Yeah, yeah, I knew that one gonna happen. I ain't wasting no more. Well, let's just use a regular Pokeball on you. Popping out again. Yep. Ah! What? Gosh dang it! I want this cricket tune. Gosh dang it! Come on! Alright, just. Jinx, just, just kill it. Yeah. Just, just kill it, Shinx. I ain't got time to waste on this. <coughs> Windeer? That's Stantler, my friend. That is a Stantler. Very old Stantler. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. He looks upon you with kindness, k -Man. Hi. Oh, bye. It does say the great Windeer has taken a liking to you. This is fortunate. He esteems Pokemon can dash across the expansion of Hinsu while bearing a human on its back. Human he deemed worthy, at least. He is a blessing to all of us. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. 
It's why it's just like the riding Pokemon of Aloha. Lola. How do you know about Lola? Professor Leviton. Okay, man. Captain Celine sent me. She said that once Kamen carried out his request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. And about that, that was a joint decision by admin and the commander, but still it's truly fine for us to set up more bases like this. The Hinsu region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together, I imagine you should be allowed to do this. Appreciation. Well, no problemos. Don't worry about it. Wait, you ain't gonna give me nothing? I've done this for free? If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to stop fearing them and get start getting to know them better. Out of way, Kari. You tell her. We should be able to have a basis to can't set up the construction corpse arrive. <laughs> so we put up a base here? Is that why we had to do this? I only caught four Pokemon. What trash. I only got $1,000. But I have $16,000. Oh my god. Yeah. I really need to go talk to the captain. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go talk to the commander. I also need to go talk to captain. Oh, we have an air cutscene. <clears throat> there you are, let's hurry to headquarters. Admin, look at look who's being punched. Oh, wasting almighty sense first time by bullying to shame. Look at Wormple in the background, just chilling like A, hey, oh, A, hey, oh. <laughs> I wish I had let myself get dragged into arguing with you about Almighty Sinnoh. Forgive me. Waste. What a waste of time. I thought he's being a jiltman. No, just a waste of time. I like their suits. Can I have his kimono? I want. Or yeah, I think it's kimono. You can feel the tension when those two showed up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman is the reverence of space. Irida? Irida? Maybe? Leader of the Pearl Clan. Palkia. Man who's going on in about time. Uh, Admin? Leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond and the Pearl Clan gradually because it was just at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. Ugh. But the boss, I mean, the commander is waiting. We should have this conversation after you report to him. Gotcha. Let's go. Star player is right here. That's probably really... Okay. How did I get out so quick? What do you intend to do about the Cleaver Commander com Commando? <laughs> he may be descended from a warrior of almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get the right to the point, other man. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That is the point. My clan can't intervene directly with, with our lord of the Pearl Clan concerned. If my people were up to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. Yes, I am here, Commander. This is K-Man, the newest member of the Survey Corps. It's an honor to meet both of you. Good to find me, stranger from the Rift. I'm Admin, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's just a mouthful. Just call me Admin. I'm pretty sure I'm saying his name wrong, but it's okay. If you came beyond the space time, if you could be the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside. I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Uh, is that more like your safe words? Okay. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You send the stranger who slowly fell from the rift to study Cleaver, this newcomer with no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. Ooh, ooh, burn. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embrace. Hinsu vast without fear. This is your mission now, K-Man. I order you to study Cleaver and find us the truth of his situation. I accept. Yes, Captain. K 
Can I jump off? Darn, I want to jump down the stairs. Nothing back here that I can take. Whoa! 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 Um, I'm going to take a look at Professor's board right here. I want to see what this says. While there's some playing with Drifloon. It seems several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Make from the security court to tell you more. Speak with her and go to the bottom of this. Pulls it back over when you check. Okay, I'll just check them all. That way I can just... Okay, that way I don't have to come back and check this stupid board later. Yep. There we go. Uh, actually, I already know about that, so I'm just going to kind of leave. Bye. I know about the item thing. Pretty. Um, I am going to do this, though. I'm going to go ahead and save. Nice. Research task number eight, Bothersome Bidoof. First, Bidoof will be hiding near the Pokemon pasture where all your Pokemon are stored, all the ones that won't fit in your box. What you want to do is go to the very far corner, and the first Bidoof will be hiding in that far corner over there. Oh, I see one. Chomp, chomp. Are you eating the wood, my bro? <laughs> There's one. Nice. All right, Wolf Fidoof will be hiding when you go toward the next gate. There'll also be a mission over to your left. You will go toward the construction site where the berry farm is and all the construction is happening. Once you go up this way, you'll want to turn to the right. See all the construction? Once you get to the construction, turn right again. And the second Bidoof will be hiding behind a fence right next, right next to a cart. Eating on the wood. <coughs> <coughs> we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And last but not least, the final Bidoof will actually be the last place you want to look. He will be on the other side of your house. He's going to be in a far corner back here, which you can get through the front, but unfortunately I found it by accident by going through the back way. And there you have it. That is finding all three produced for research task number eight. If this helped you guys, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time on research task. Well, if you need to know where all the Bidoofs are, I'll put them back on screen here. Nice work. That puts all the little trail makers safely out of our custody. Put them back to the old heave ho. Hold on. It'd be a shame to send those Bidoof back into the wild. Why not? My construction course could use them. You want to keep them, but these naughty numbers keep becoming trouble. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a no chewing zone? Show good taste in that part to come all the way to Gnaw on our woodwork, too. But if they're going to stay here, they'll have to help out with our work. They've got guts to keep trying the village, plus the teeth that garnish from the trees and rocks. How about that, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know. That's what I wanted to hear. Oh, at least I found a home. I'm not <laughs> on this day's work. I'm sure they'll be working there all night. Well, that's fine. No problem. Anytime. Oh. Bah. I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. 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 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage. How's the Wurmple doing, bro? How's it going to start? We're getting along great. Yes, you can tell. Ain't that right, Wurmple? Begunia. <laughs> Aw. Oh my gosh, he evolved! That's so sick! Just a little longer, you'll know, blossom into a beautiful. Oh no, that's a cascoon, bro. That's a cascoon. It's gonna be a dust tox. Oh, 
I'm not gonna ruin that. No, thank you. That's so mean. Oh, uh, yeah, you just get me out of here. You made progress. Seems you have injured yourself a slar. Let's go. Rank number two. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Bazinga. We the best. We the best. It's in the rank of second star. I can use feather balls. That's cool. What are feather balls? <laughs> and some super potion. Nice. Well, guys, I think that will be all of Pokemon's Legend Arceus Part 4. Uh, we got a little bit done today. We met some interesting characters. We got a lot done. Can't wait to see what happens in Episode 5 of Pokemon's Legend Arceus when we fight off against Cleaver. See you guys next time. Bye!